Let's jump to the war here, and today we've got a saving a disaster battle playing as Luther Harkon going up against Teclis. So, we're in the fairly early stages of the campaign, so he doesn't have any Necrofex spam yet. His army is a little bit damaged on some of his units, but he doesn't have bad troops in here. Zombie pirate gunnery mob handguns are pretty good. Uh, but what he said in the email is that the enemy archers just absolutely shredded his forces, which is exactly what I would expect, because Lotho and Seaguard, uh, they fire really quickly, and they have much higher range than your highest range unit. Now, because your units are slower than theirs, you have to move up 20 feet or whatever it is, before you can even start shooting, which is enough time for them to inflict several volleys. Uh, and since you got no armor, uh, it just absolutely destroys these units. So we need to find a way of dealing with these archers here. And I know just the thing. Uh, mortars, of course, will help, but you can't expect the mortars to wipe out all of these archers before they um, before they get into range. And let's jump in here, and I'll show you a few tricks. What it comes down to, I think, is just understanding how the AI behaves and that the AI prioritize high value units over low value units, but they also prioritize units that are closer rather than further away. So what you can do is give them a high value target that's really hard to hit that's closer to them. So what we want to do here is set up as far back here, and but also in reasonably good terrain as possible. I'll need to reform up pretty much straight away. So what we want to do... Yeah, I'll need to reform up. Um, hang on, let me just get this. I'm going to put this over here, use it later down the track. I really don't want the Morgals getting wiped out. Uh, what we want to do is send Luther Harkon up ahead right away. And I do this in pretty much all of my battles, right? Have my hero way up ahead of the rest of the army. Not just standing in front of them, but way up ahead of them so that it ties them down. They'll shoot at him, but they won't change their mind and be like, oh, if we just move a few steps forward, we can shoot at the um, at their uh, higher, uh, sorry, lower value, but easier to hit targets. So we don't want that. You know, i got to reorganize right away. So Luther Harkon move up. Have these spread out across here. Same thing here, spread out. This is pretty good terrain. Got nice high ground here. Now what we want to do with Luther Harkon, yeah, just get him up there as quickly as possible, is if we can draw their attention right away, you can see here, they'll start shooting. Yep. And what you can't do with your gunnery mob is dodge. But you can absolutely do that with your single entities. But they'll still try to hit us. And what this is going to do is keep all their archers back. But... Have all their spearmen keep moving forward. So their spearmen aren't ranged units, so obviously we don't really need to worry about that too much. And we can sort of deal with half of their army with, with the gunners, while Luther Harkon's dealing with uh, with this. So their, their melee troops are trying to get engaged with us here, but it's going to keep moving. Okay, now this one here, let's pop down some zombies to slow them down. Now, I think it's higher priority for us to bomb the, um, the spearmen as opposed to the Lotho and Sea Guard, because we've kind of got them busy at the moment. Yeah, they're pretty busy. Okay, now this one come over here. And I don't want to engage with them. All I want to do is... Hang on, hang on, hang on. What I want to do is get their attention, get them to go in a different direction. So Luther Harkon's taking a bit of damage here. But we're okay. Okay, I may have to fight that one because it's on horseback. We're not fast enough. You hold that back. No, I did, said I didn't want to fight. All I wanted to do was get their attention. Oh, he was actually crumbling there. But he's beating the shit out of that wizard. Okay, some of their Lothar and Seaguard are moving forward, which is not what we want. Yeah, what's with their leadership here? Holy shit.
Now, we don't have any melee units in the army apart from the Mongols, so we can't really put anything else in there apart from the summons. Now, that being said, him not recruiting melee units, I'm obviously not going to criticize that. Because you want to have as much firepower as possible. But see how we've kept these busy? That way they're just not shredding us right at the start. Okay, but eventually they're going to arrive. We don't want to lose this unit over here. They're pretty high value. But the problem is, you turn around, you immediately start routing. Got to keep Luther Harkon alive. Got to keep him out here as long as possible. I am bombing their Lothan Sea Guard now. Get that one rallied. Attacking us over here. Need this one to hit in there. Don't have enough Winds of Magic for this. Okay, this one here is taking too much damage. Let's pull it back. Okay, these ones over here, they need to start wrapping around a little bit. Okay, Luther Harkon isn't going to be able to heal anymore. Try to use these guys as caval our cavalry, kind of. Okay, if we can get rid of Teclas, that would be good. He's worth a ton of balance of power. Because he's a legendary lord. Now, guy over here. Let's uh, let's get a summon over here. Hopefully, they'll they'll target it. Because yeah, now they're shooting at our targets, our, our our gunners here. They're gonna inflict a lot more damage. I need to get the Mongols over here, and you guys get over there. Just pin them down. So I pulled you back. Move back. Got some guys taking some damage. Alright, gotta keep these archers pinned down. Because they're the damage dealers. The spearmen take forever to kill. Move this one back, taking too much damage. This one here. Yeah, just move back a little bit. Getting shot up by them. Come on, let's try to get rid of uh, Teclas there. I don't want this unit here getting wiped out. Let's pull it out. Come on. Sometimes you gotta give the move order multiple times. Because you give it once and they just forget. It's just a bit of a problem with Total War games in general. Who's next? To murder. Bomb in there, that's where the most of them are. So move out that way. Okay, we're losing some units, but I feel like we're winning. Just think that fucking army losses. This guy here is doing a good job, but yeah, I just don't have that much magic. So just move it over here. I'm trying to keep these ones here specifically alive, and these ones. If the uh, the shit pirate gunnery mob gets wiped out, who cares? Okay, I think it would be better to get another summon than another Nahek. Because the summon's really good at tying them down. You pin this one down so this one can move back. Maybe you move in and charge on them as well, because they're really close to dying. Get these back. So now what we're doing in this stage of the battle, we've clearly won. So what I'm doing here is damage mitigation, making sure that certain units don't get wiped out. This one here is just keeping Luther Harkon busy. I really need to go and kill Teclas, but I just can't get at him. Come on, where them army losses at? There it is. Alright, so a few units of zombie pirate gunnery mob got wiped out, but I think that's about it. I'm gonna try to run down as much of them as we can. So this one here... Ah, uh, that... Isn't going to slow him down. So Luther Harkon is about 10 points faster than Teclas, but 
The thing is, when units have shattered, they don't take fatigue penalties anymore from speed. And I just don't think we're going to get there, there in time. So just, we'll just have to get him in the next battle. You know, sometimes you just can't reach him. Uh, looking for something to hit. Because, yeah, that's not going to do anything. Get me close. See if we can get another Nehek down. Oh, put it on itself. Luther's already used up all of his healing. And, yeah, their high elves are pretty quick. Alright, pretty victory. Fair enough. But we only lost two units of zombie pirate gunnery mob. It's just that the casualties were fairly evenly spread out, which is exactly what you want to have happen in these sort of situations. If you're going to take casualties, you don't want certain units getting nuked, because this way over the end turn, assuming you're in friendly territory, at least it's going to get like a fair distribution of casualty replenishment. Because if you've got one unit at full health, then it's not going to get any casualty replenishment, but it's not going to give any of its potential casualty replenishment over to anyone else. Alright, your money's okay. 7% replenishment or loot. It's a fair amount of loot. It's like a full turn's worth of income for you, so let's go with that. So there's Teclas there. Kind of feel like my job here isn't done. But yeah, the main thing to take away from that battle is um, what we did at the start with Luther Harkon, even though Luther Harkon took a lot of damage, they were trading very poorly for Balance of Power and they weren't aiming for things that they really should have. Oh, I see. You went into ambush, right? Okay, just a little tip. If you go into ambush stance near a hero, you are almost certain to fail, so don't even bother. Some good stuff there. Now, I think you might just have enough movement to actually get to the Fuming Serpent and finish them off. But it's going to be tight. Really tight. So let me just see what we can do here. I smell a defector. Yeah, get uh, another point to drown dead because you want as many of those casts as possible. There's Teclas getting some recovery. Alright, what have we got in Raise the Dead here? There's a fair few things here. So you can get some bloody boys. But zombie pirate gunnery mob in the early stages of the campaign is definitely good. Let's get one of those. Bats can be useful against high elves. They won't outright beat them in melee, but they can tie them down. Which is what these ones here are for as well. The trash. Um, I think we get a bloody boy and just uh, blow up one of their units. All right. Alright, let's take out, um, let's take out Teclas. I think we can manage it. Let's see if we can get an auto resolve here. Uh, I reckon we're going to auto resolve win, but some units might get wiped out. Let's have a look. Hmm. Well, that unit was going to get blown up in this battle anyway, so. Alright, what's the damage like? 290? Yeah, that's acceptable. I probably would have taken a lot less. Souls for sale. Oh, shit. Are we not going to make it there? Hang on. If there is anything in his skill tree that will give us extra movement, like Smuggler. If we get Smuggler... I hear voices. No, it doesn't give us enough movement. Not unless we use the movement bug. So yeah, you'll have to wait until next turn before you can attack the Fuming Serpent. But at least Teclas has been beaten, and they can't recruit anything other than basic archers and spearmen. Um, you could always go into encamp stance here and pick up another unit. And I would highly advise getting rid of these guys sooner rather than later. But at least Teclas is gone, and if you are aggressive and take them out next turn... Then you shouldn't um, you shouldn't ever see Teclas again because that'll wipe them out. That's the last of their forces. And even though it's on legendary difficulty, and they're going to recruit like six, seven, eight units, something like that, you should still be able to beat them with this and just fill up your army with some stuff. Maybe merge these guys and just. This is when he is higher level as well. 
yeah, you should be able to manage it because you just don't have techless to worry about. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Main thing to take away from this, if you're going up against no. missile-based armies, always put your small but fast heroes out in front, to like a fair distance out in front, to try to absorb as much of that fire, um, those arrows or guns or whatever that's coming in, artillery, before the main advance. Because if the, if the um, archers, enemy archers and enemy melee units come in at your army at the same time, they're going to be fairly deadly. But if the melee units arrive first, for one thing, all of your missile units are only going to be dealing with half of their army, while their missile units are still just trying to shoot your dancing hero. And then once you've dealt with their melee units, you're in a much better sh uh, state to deal with the enemy missile units. So it's just about picking apart their battle formations and making them disorganized. This is why whenever I'm fighting a battle, I always keep my army in formation unless I've got a particularly fast unit and I'm playing, you know, picking them a little bit here and there. But when I've got an archer-based army, formations are incredibly important and the AI loses their formations really easily. So it's about breaking it. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Appreciate you and we'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.